one of the most misunderstood and definitely misidentified snakes here in South Florida is the cottonmouth or water moccasin. They are very commonly confused with a number of harmless water snake species that are here in this area. So before we get to the video today, we're gonna do a little challenge. I'm going to show a number of cottonmouths and water snakes, and each snake is going to be numbered and when you see it, comment down below what you think it is. Is it a harmless water snake or is it a venomous cottonmouth? Later in the video, you'll see exactly which one is which. What's up guys? I am just doing some hiking this evening in a really good spot. This is a spot that a month or two ago I got a couple dusky pygmy rattlesnakes and a nice yellow rat snake. But there's a lot of other species that can turn up in this area too, so I'm hoping I can turn up a thing or two before the sun goes down here. And then I'll do some road cruising. We'll see. Well, not too much yet. I heard a snake sliding off into the undergrowth before I could get a look at it, so I'm not sure what that was. And I just walked up on a snake skeleton. I'm not really sure what it is either. Something had a nice meal though. Literally less than a minute after seeing that snake skeleton, there's a snake skin in the grass. Pretty complete shed. There's the head. All the way down to the tail there. Let's see here. Doesn't appear to have keeled scales. It's about the size of a racer, probably. It's probably what it is. Doesn't appear to have any patterning. Probably an Everglades racer. All right, let's keep going. All right, next little critter of the night, <clears throat> the little mud turtle crossing the road. These guys are pretty common in here. I see quite a few of them, cute little guys. All right, buddy, come on, get off the road. There you go. See you later. All right, first snake after dark is a little mangrove water snake. Off you go, buddy. Come on. All right, this is literally like 20 seconds after the last one. It's a like, hybrid water snake, part mangrove, part banded. Lots of these guys around here. Next snake. Oh, it's a really interesting looking hybrid one. Some of these hybrids have really cool patterns. Look at that, really black head, kind of a black stripe down the back. That's neat. All right, buddy, want to get off the road. All right, next snake, another Nerodia. This one a little bigger. Actually a very similar pattern to the last one. Look at that, black stripe down the back. 
Looks a little bit skinny. You need a couple meals, bud. All right, periscoping, probably in Erodia. Yep. Oh, really dark one this time. Pretty cool. Lots of snakes moving. <laughs> Next snake of the night is this tiny brand new baby brown water snake. <laughs> Look how cute he is. So adorable. Look how what he is the size of my hand. Tiny little baby. It's baby season. All right, next snake. It's a baby Florida green water snake. This guy has a fair bit of orange in him. Maybe he'll grow up to be one of the red phase ones that are pretty cool. These guys are so tiny. Next up, oh nice, we have a tiny, tiny, look at the size of its head, it's so small, a Florida brown snake. And this thing, even though it's so small, it either has a meal in it, but it actually looks like it might be gravid. This is only the second one of this species that I've seen here. See how it's skinny and then the back third of the body is pretty big and distended. That's why I think it's gravid. Got some babies in there. Gonna pop soon. All right, go on and get off the road. All right, next snake, the absolutely giant female green water snake and off into the bushes. She's huge. All right, next snake is a baby banded water snake. And actually look at the colors on that guy. I've been seeing some nice bandits lately. It was a very pretty water snake. Again, these guys are Super tiny. Brand new babies. All right, little buddy, let's get you off the road. All right, next snake is my first venomous snake of the night. A little sub-adult cottonmouth, Florida cottonmouth. Really pretty one. Look at the pattern on that thing. And you can clearly see that he's not chasing me. He wants nothing to do with me. He's running away. He wants to get back to his habitat. Just like every cottonmouth I see. They either coil up and stand their ground to defend themselves or they just take off and want to get out of sight. Completely not aggressive. All right, buddy. Yeah, there's that mouth. I know. Here's another quick look at this cottonmouth. He got off the road into his habitat, and you can see now that he's coiled up, he's standing his ground. He'll defend himself if necessary, but he has no desire to attack or get close to me at all. Here I am, it's my legs, and there he is. No aggressive behavior, just saying leave me alone. All right, you're off the road, you're safe now. 
All right, another cotton mouth. Much darker one this time. Just like the last one, wants nothing to do with me. Here's my feet. Here's the snake. Are you sure you don't want to chase me, man? You're not living up to your reputation. All right, get off the road so you don't become a cotton pancake. There you go. Come on. Off the road. There we go again. Same thing. Gets off the road, into its habitat, feels a bit threatened, coils up to stand its ground, opens its mouth a little bit, try to scare away any possible predators, and that's it. Still wouldn't want to, still wouldn't want to put my hand on it or anything because they can bite in self-defense. But as you can see, the point is that they're just not being aggressive. So we'll leave you to it, buddy. Next snake of the night is a little bit bigger brown water snake. I love these guys. These are probably my favorite water snake species down here in South Florida. I just love their pattern and their color. Come on, buddy, off the road. <laughs> and he takes off. Next snake is a good-sized banded water snake that is gone with the wind. <laughs> All right, next up, another brown water snake. Really cool belly, side pattern, square blotches. People actually sometimes mistake these for smaller pythons because they have a decently similar pattern. But these are obviously not pythons. These are a native snake. They're not invasive. They're supposed to be here in the swamps. So we're just going to let this guy go. Make sure he doesn't get run over. You never know what you're going to see. Just let that brown water snake go and check out what's hiding in the grass here. Right next to where I was. <laughs> Gotta love Florida. Next snake of the night is a little juvenile Florida cottonmouth. You can see that the juveniles have a much brighter pattern and color than the big older ones do. Doesn't want to sit still. Just want to get a close-up shot of you, buddy. Maybe the last snake of the night. Another Florida cottonmouth. Come on, get off the road. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight and following along with my herping adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see in particular on this channel. And don't forget to check out my poster that I have for sale right now. Uh, from now through the end of the month of August, a portion of the sale of every poster is going to go towards conserving and hopefully buying some rainforest habitat in Ecuador that is severely endangered. So definitely check that out.